We now examine uh, structures in the abdomen and we uh, begin by ori orienting ourselves uh, with familiar structures. We notice the jugular notch here and inferior to that we can see the sternal angle of Lewis and then continuing inferiorly we can see the xiphoid process and from the xiphoid process we can see the costal margin on the left and the costal margin on the right. Continuing in the midline we can identify the, the, the uh, uh, pubic symphysis and pubic tubercles here and we see running from the pubic tubercle uh, to the anterior superior spine we can see the inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament on the left and inguinal ligament on the right. Uh, we now identify important uh, planes or lines. We can, we can identify the midclavicular uh, lines here on, on each side and uh, we can identify some important uh, horizontal planes. We identify first the subcostal plane uh, which is uh, a, which was at, at the bottom of the costal margin and then uh, superior to that about halfway between the umbilicus and the xiphoid process is the transpyloric plane. Then continuing inferiorly we can see the transumbilical plane which in Levi is at the same position as the plane of the uh, iliac crests and then we can also identify the, the, the plane of the anterior superior spines. Going back superiorly here we can identify the domes of the diaphragm on the right, the dome of the diaphragm on the left and we can see inferior to the dome of the diaphragm on the right we can see the large the large liver and we see it extends across the midline and it's about three finger breadths below the xiphoid process as it crosses the midline and then uh, terminates close to the midclavicular line on the left. Uh, we note now at the junction between the midclavicular line and the transpyloric plane we see the we see the gallbladder and then continuing to the left we see a small dot which would be the location of an enlarged spleen tip and we note here halfway a third of the way from the anterior superior spine to the umbilicus we see an M here which is McBurney's point the location of the appendix now coming back to the midline we see just to the left of the midline we see the abdominal aorta as it crosses into the uh, through the diaphragm into the in, into the uh, into the abdomen. We see it dividing into right and left common iliacs at the at the umbilicus, and uh, it continues inferiorly. As it continues inferiorly, it becomes the external iliac artery, and then it crosses below the umbilical ligament. It becomes the femoral artery. We, we can identify now also that the transpyloric plane we can identify the, the renal arteries.